I can't move my mouse. Are you guys stuck? Am I the only one? Is there an infinite on this map? Does he really have insidious? I'm sorry, dude, he's camping so hard. Hold on, let me finish this hook real quick. Oh my god, the nurse is so broken. Come play on the jungle gym. Straight to the jungle gym. Straight to the infinite. He's on me, just get gens. Classic no head crutch, dude. Jungle gym's not an infinite, dude. Oh my god, he's so blind, dude. Oh, of course he spawns right next to me. Oh my god, that trap was invisible, dude. This code is so bad, dude. That's fine, he doesn't have any hooks left. He's camping so hard. Uh, uh, uh. I think it's a bot. Let's feed the bot. Dude, let me get the gate, I need the points. Saboteur's the best perk. Saboteur's the worst perk. It's that way. I, sorry, I mean that way. And just play Trapper if you don't want to get infinited. Oh my god, that bar was full, dude. Is there an infinite on this map? No. We're dead. I can't wait to infinite this guy. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome again to our weekly stream. Uh, that was funny. Uh, for people who are not sure what funny <clears throat> things look like, that was one of them. So, uh, welcome once again. Hi to everybody uh, and people that we like uh, out there that are not listening. So, I will follow the menu for today that I wrote that I was very excited about. I tweeted about my excitement today. Hellos and introduction. I think I did many hellos. That's enough. Introductions. Paul, marketing manager. Ooh. Can you name tree maps? Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's just do this and get it over with. Uh, suffocation pit, cold tower, uh, blood lodge. Uh, that's three. Yeah, yeah that's, that's three. three. Right. I, can, I can keep going, but I'm not going to do it. All right. See. Uh, who are you? I'm Dave. I do the design bits. He also does that thing. Mm. He's got such cool, cool gifts. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. That was good. Introduce our mods. Who do we have as mods today? We have. Uh, I saw suggestive out there. Hi. Uh, I saw uh, bucket. I think. Who else do we have? Yes. Hi, bucket. Uh, we got me... Murph. We got Sassy UK. And that is it. That's enough. And oh, we got what a bot. That? So there. Uh, let's not introduce the bot. Hello you, we love you. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, giving a shout out especially to uh, someone who paid attention in the last Twitch. We had a little conversation where we said if someone comes by the office with five yeah. bucks and a Toblerone, they would get codes. Well, on slot, you can follow his, uh, his stream. Not right now, because obviously right now he's watching us. But uh, you can follow his stream. He came by with a bag full of chocolate and a five dollar bill. Uh, which uh, I then promptly gave to the team and then gave him a bunch of codes and we took a picture and everybody was happy. Yes. So, there. Uh, yes, I have a note here to tell you all that we have been nominated uh, uh, for the Canadian Video Game Awards, which is uh, kind of a big deal if you're Canadian. It's I guess. a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they have a fan choice awards and things like that. So if you want to go out and vote for us, because we're your favorite, then go ahead and do that. We'll put the link in the comments uh, or something like that. Uh, what else? Oh, Halloween DLC. Hey, wasn't that fun? I liked it. Uh, so that's a news. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I have you here treats for free. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. So should I, should I talk about it a little mm -hmm. bit? Just go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we decided that uh, we like Halloween and we like uh, giving you free shit. So uh, we are going to do exactly that. <clears throat> uh, we have an image. Can you show the image? Oh. Ooh, free shit. So uh, the next patch, which is coming either soon or very soon, Two shots for me. That's for tomorrow's party. Uh, we will be giving out those eyes for free. So uh, those killers will have those fancy glowing Halloween eyes. Uh, <laughs> They're going to be so easy to spot. <laughs> <laughs> They're killers. Okay, they don't fine. care. Uh, anyway, so that's free for everybody. And it stays on forever. Because it's just cool. We just thought it was cool. So free shit. Have fun. Yay. Uh, there you go. 
part two of the program is uh, what's on its way. So we have Halloween tweaks. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, of course. So uh, as any new content comes in the game, we uh, monitor and we look at the comments and we look at the stats and we look at mistakes that we've made and some uh, bugs that uh, we didn't caught through QA. Uh, so we're making these modifications. Uh, some of them are already been pushed as hotfix because they were big. Well, the uh, big thing was the, the fact that some resolutions couldn't use Michael's power. Exactly. Uh, so that went through the net. It has been fixed. Uh, so other uh, other fixes will come uh, with uh, these eyes actually. So there's another hot fix coming, uh, and uh, there's going to be the usual uh, look at uh, any balance issues that we might might have. Um, contrary to what a lot of people seem to think, uh, I don't think that Myers is that OP. Actually, I think he's actually it, really good. You sent us stats yesterday, mm -hmm. and he's not as efficient as the Trapper. Yeah, but you know, people it's don't the first stats. days, you know, so. <clears throat> exactly. So uh, it's going to be bunkers uh, once uh, the perks come in play. When yeah, when we got Prestige 3 killers. And stuff like that. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be looking at what is going on. But the mechanic itself, uh, people seem to enjoy it. We, we do enjoy it. We think it's, uh, it's really good. So there you go. Uh, so someone keeps screaming, why do killers with spies uh, uh, shadows uh, are not immune to their own crows? Well, that might have been introduced uh, with the recent patch. Uh, if you uh, are angry, please uh, post on Steam or Reddit where that should be and we'll spot it. Uh, someone's saying killer eyes glowing is too OP, can you nerf it? Yeah, no, we can't actually. The nerf button has been destroyed. Hmm, we pressed it too hard. Okay. Uh, so that was Halloween tweets. Yeah. There, there's going to be a bunch, actually, probably over the next two, three weeks when people start getting more comfortable with the new mechanics yeah. and figure out what's happening, and uh, and then we'll know how. But, but one thing I think most people agree on, it is fucking scary to play against Michael. It is. Absolutely. Uh, and that's kind of the point. Uh, reporting tools. Yeah, another thing, another big thing we're working on, uh, getting the power into the ends of love players like yourselves to be yeah. able to report other players. Um, so that's going to come in um, as early as we can make it happen uh, with all the other responsibility that we have. But I, I want you to get this opportunity to say, well, this player was camping, this was a bot, uh, the survivors uh, and killer were working together to make points, things like that. All the bad behaviors that we have, uh, these person were toxic in the chat, this is going to be something that can be reported as well. And we will monitor all of this and ban for uh, some time people that need to be banned. Just like wild yeah. swings of the ban hammer. Yeah, so just, just to be clear, uh, before that report tool comes in, we as dev never banned anyone. Uh, it's always been through EAC or uh, the Steam VAC system. Uh, but now, when we're going to introduce that, we will be able to take some of the matter into our own ends and, um, well, yeah, make a for better place to play. A safer place to play. Yeah. A safer, safer place to kill. Huh. Uh, no, I like it. Uh, all right, then there's the tournament. We talked about it a little bit last time. We won't go into details, but we are get, trying to... Uh, create more tools for people who want to hold tournaments uh, for the game to be able to do so uh, in a fun way. It'll, it'll probably, uh, yeah, it'll probably grow over time and as, as people use it and do it in different ways, but, uh, but yeah, that's it. So we want to create a few more uh, tournament tools. Now, uh, the next one is probably gonna, well, I, it's, no. I was gonna say this one is probably gonna create a little more friction, people yes. with, you know, widely differing uh, opinions, <coughs> but all of this, whatever the hell, even the glowing eyes, I'm sure some people are gonna bitch already. <laughs> so, uh, the progression. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna make big changes to the progression. Yes. Uh, because of reasons. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a recurring team. The progression is a massive grind as a, uh, most players uh, define our game and the, the progression in our game. Uh, yeah. And yes, granted, we want to make that less of a grind, but we want to make that in a want to make these changes in, in uh, the correct way. Like uh, something I don't want to do, for example, would be to just lower the prices of the blood web. That's that's not a good solution. So we're actually making changes to the blood web and now how you'll be able to progress. So you'll be able to get your loadout much faster. You'll be able to get teachable much faster than before. You'll be able to go prestige faster than you could. 
but also I want to make sure yeah. that we reward all of you players that actually got the old prestige, you know, in the time that it was actually very difficult and a grind to get. So as soon as this new system is about to go live, we'll warn everybody and we'll give you a time limit to go grab Probably this like prestige. Probably like a week or something. Something like that. Uh, and uh, anyone that got these old prestige will get the special bonus for the Uber character. prestige. Uber prestige. Or something. There you go. Uh, yeah. What is this? Trapper is way more badass than Myers. Them's fighting words. Ooh. Hmm. How will this keep salty players from reporting falsely? Well, <clears throat> reporting is not an exact science. And uh, one report will not get you banned. No, Ever. and it's not a uh, automated system. Uh, actually, it's not going to be at first. It's going to nope. be a manual system. So we, uh, as any time we receive some complaints about a specific individual, when we receive complaints uh, in, as a mass, yeah. we can actually go through our data and see the behavior of that person and if it's it's true that uh, this person should be banned for a day, 48 hours or more, just to say, hey, you should change your behavior. So when you know a lot of complaints are going to arise from a specific individual we'll be able to look into it and see if we have to do something about it that makes sense to me yeah the data is god yeah. so jen denise is is hoping that you'll say hi to her hola okay that she was she said i not hola seriously we told you about taking initiative <laughs> mm. Uh, we we jest, <laughs> all, all in good fun. Uh, right? Right. Good. Now, next thing, hook camping. You want to talk about that? Yes. I keep pushing you to talk about stuff. That, but that's that's a thing. It's on its way, so we have to talk about it. Okay. Uh, hook camping. Yeah. That's annoying. Nobody likes it, uh, and we we think that it actually makes the game no fun for everyone, even for the killer that camps. Uh, so we have a solution we'd like to try, and that's gonna be soon. That's a shit for me, it's actually soon. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna push that change to the PTB um, and see how you guys react and if it does the job partially or not. So the objective here is to change the bleed out on the hook. So there's gonna be different mechanics related to it, but the, the gist of it is that Bleeding out on the hook on the first portion when you're not struggling will not be a thing anymore. So you could stay there forever if you want. That's it. Of course, it's going to come with other things, but that's the gist of it. So is farming points with a killer, a friendly killer, bannable? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, that ruins experience for the other survivors. So if the other survivors reports and you do that a lot of time and we see that it's actually happening, uh, we will ban you for a day and warn you about it and then you know two days and then a week and that's it uh, Yes, it is a bannable thing. Will only prestige three get the bonus? Absolutely not. So the uh, the prestige bonus is going to be the three tier So if you got uh, one on Nia and Dwight your favorite characters You'll get the prestige the uber prestige one. one for Nia and Dwight Can you show or tell who is the most used and most effective killer? So, well, that fluctuates, obviously. I think that for the last two days, uh, Michael Myers had a huge spike. Obviously, everybody was playing Michael Myers. He, uh, he has a spike in uh, the, the, the amount of time that he's used. Yeah, the number of time he's used. Yeah. He's very frequently used right now. Yeah, obviously. But he's not the most efficient. The most efficient title is still... Uh, it's still the Trapper. still the Trapper. Very much so. Uh, yeah. So... Uh, what else is on its way? Ooh! Oh, will Michael Myers get this Uber Prestige rewards as well? No. No. For many reasons, but no, he will not. I live in Russia and I will never get any rare clothing for the game and this is making me sad. Uh, don't be sad. Those exclusive items will become available at some point in some form, as we have said. Uh, not immediately, but, uh, but it's gonna happen. So don't don't be sad, <coughs> or be sad just for now, and not later. I just saw one. I don't know if it, if it went into your. Yeah, no. The Uber reward for the Uber Prestige we're talking about is a costume. It's yeah. No, it's not points. It's it's gonna be uh, twenty five thousand blood points. I kid. 
Seriously? Because I care. It's bad. <laughs> Will the nurse get uber prestige? Uh, yeah, the nurse is, is part of it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's go back to this because there's a, an exciting thing here. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> that uh, is exciting. So we talked a little bit about uh, another pack of customization vaguely uh, similar to the uh, 80 suitcase. Uh, we're going to give you a quick sneak peek. Just a little, little bit. Quickly. Okay, that was very fast. Well done. Okay, maybe just a, a tiny bit more. Okay. That was good enough. Uh, okay, I think that's, that's good enough. Uh, people will probably have noticed it. Uh, yeah. So, will you punish people who abuse the report function? So, can you report bad reporters. <laughs> of course. <laughs> we will see that. If we see that uh, people report all the time for any reason. Uh, I mean, it's, it's an infinite loop. Yeah. We're hoping to create a recursive in, in system. Infinite? Yeah. yeah. Infinites infinite in reporting. reporting. Uh, where is the G-juice? I'm so sad. We're waiting for BroBQ to send us a care package. Okay. Jerky and G-juice. Uh, are you happy with the window vault changes? That's, um, I am. Personally, yeah, it's I It's a very good question. Uh, we do think that this helps against uh, infinite and chases that are really too long. If you were heavily relying on that to get away, then it might affect you the most. But, uh, I mean, we do play here with these changes and we don't necessarily have the, the problems that people state, like it's becoming impossible, the windows are useless now. Uh, I wouldn't go to say that it's, it's that bad. Uh, now, we'll keep monitoring and we'll see. Well, uh, you know, you get a lot of email. According to the internet, it's really bad. And yeah, of course, so because upset, because they're so used to you know playing yeah, that way. Ah. So, of course, yeah, I get a lot of complaints. Of course, you personally, why, yeah. Why do you guys fix it? <laughs> <laughs> but one thing that needs to be clear, though, it's not the same fix as it was on the um, the nurse patch on last bread. That one was a bit too mean. Now this one is more balanced. Yeah, because we had this. The, the, the vault change? That yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'll tell you after Twitch. <laughs> right. You won't. <laughs> Did you play your game sometimes? Yeah, mm -hmm. actually. And, and yesterday, it's funny because yesterday we had a day where a lot of people on the team were playing the game, just random games with strangers. Of course. Because, I was uh, playing. I had a few games out there uh, with a few people. You know who you are. And I had a good time. Yeah. I, was, I had a good time. I usually play killer. But since everybody was Michael Myers, I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'll do my part for the community and I'll jump in as a survivor. And I actually had a very good survival streak, which oh, yeah. was surprising. One, one cool thing about this project that I haven't seen in a lot of projects is that everyone played a game. And yeah. everyone yeah. is looking forward to playing the game. Yeah. So when we have some time here at work, because we, we do play during the work hours, uh, some of us play as well, you know, outside of the work hours, but we also have uh, like uh, the, these times uh, in the office where everybody plays and it's a lot of fun. Mm. Uh, how about a point compensation for survivors like you have for the killer when the teammates disconnect and you still have five gens to go? Yeah, absolutely. This is something that uh, uh, we want to change as well. And we've been talking about that for a long time. We just uh, haven't got the chance to get to it. But yeah, it's quite unfair, especially uh, when all generators are done and the only thing that is uh, you know left is to escape and then the killer disconnects so at that point for sure mm -hmm. you need to be you need to have the escape points yeah uh, yeah the other thing is I was watching uh, three of our QA were did a survive with friends group and they were playing against random people and there was one epic game that lasted a really long time. It was in Haddonfield against Michael Myers. And there was some screaming on the floor. And uh, uh, to be fair, Fred was very unhappy, the, the character, a modeler, because he <laughs> couldn't concentrate. But it got super intense. And Patricia was the last, last one alive, and everybody was cheering for her. And she managed to make it out. And she was not feeling well afterwards. She was a little sick. Uh, which uh, which is kind of amusing. Anyway, oh, and by the way, uh, Fred was very happy with his uh, birthday gift. So thank you, Sly. Uh, I was very happy with my stuff, but I'm keeping that under wraps until I can actually show it in all its magnificence. Uh, that's part of my Halloween plan. Uh, yeah, 
So that's it for the stuff that's on its way. We have the new killer skins. I think we showed a little bit. Uh, and yeah. Can you guys play your own game on stream? It would seem pretty fun. Why didn't you stream Dead by Daylight a little bit in your weekly streams? I, I did a long time ago and then I stopped because I was kind of, eh, wanted to do something else out of my okay. free time. Yeah. But we should we should do some games here on the We should, on the Twitch, absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, good suggestion. We will do that. Uh, <clears throat> uh, anything new about Lori's voices? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fixed. Uh, yeah, I do think it's coming. It's in coming the in the patch where you get the glowy eyes and everything else. Yep. Uh, yeah. Will a different ranking system not based on blood points be implemented soon? Not soon. Okay. Uh, what about removing the hook time for the killer? I'm not sure exactly what, what that means. Oh, the, the, the camp mechanic that we talked about, I guess? I don't know. Mm. Will Lori get her own voice? Yeah, that's a bug, as we said. So, th essentially, it was pointing to the wrong audio file. So, it was playing Meg's voice instead of her own. She does have a voice. It's been recorded. It's very different. And it's, it's coming. Uh, all right, what else I have? Oh, game changes. That's part three of the show. Uh, things that have changed in the game that are being discussed right now. Patch notes and comments. So uh, the, the patch that we released with the Halloween stuff had a lot of bug fixes, a lot of small tweaks and changes. Uh, the, the biggest one is probably the, the... Well, there was the shrine, actually. We, we can talk about the shrine a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, people were uh, screaming uh, that uh, 25k is too low for 550 shards. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we put in values that we thought were fair. Actually, I say we, but mostly you put in values that you thought were fair. Well, we might, uh, this this one might be uh, higher for the five, uh, 550. That's something that we might change. The 515, 750 is not going to change, though. Um, so, yeah. I mean, uh, thank you for your comments. That's exactly what we need. Yeah. But that's it. So the shrine, I mean, other than the, the actual numbers themselves, we have I haven't heard much about if people think it's a good idea to be able to buy teachable perks and all that. I'd like to hear. But mostly we just hear that, oh, the numbers are off. Mm. So uh, I'd like to hear some comments about the, the thing itself, the whole feature uh, at some point. Well, I think it's good, but uh, what do I know? Uh, other than that, we had the rework of the UI, which I saw a few comments here and there. Some people love it, some people hate it. Uh, it's the new UI. Mostly, it's a UI that will allow us to grow a lot more compared to what we had in the past. And uh, I love it. I think Sarah made a yeah. great job. Yeah. Well done. Uh, and then, <clears throat> what else was changed? Well, there was the, the window vault vacuum thing. Uh, the T wall are back. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of different tweaks we've made. Uh, you can see it in the patch out, obviously. There's probably not going to be a Santa Claus for Christmas as a killer or as a survivor. Probably not. Uh, what do you think about a training mode? No, there's no training wheel. You just get murdered. That's what happened. Uh, what do you think about the new wiggle perk with five seconds stun? I think it's great. I think it's a great addition to the game. That's why we've designed it. They're, they're talking about the Lori's uh, escape? Mm -hmm. It's absolutely awesome. It makes for such great moments. And, and it's funny because it's one of those perks that when you read it and you're like, it only helps if things go to shit. Like it's, it's like one of those, like in other games, it's in League of Legends or whatever else, it's a power that only triggers when you die. And you're like, yeah. this is not something I should be aiming for. <laughs> but it's going to happen, so. Uh, yeah. Will you implement AI? I think that's one of the very rare things that we can safely and clearly say no. <laughs> we have Are the best sure? AI in the world right now. People. Uh, yeah. Uh, obsession. The obsession mechanic. Uh, me personally, because I'll take the seat of a, uh, of a player that's just screaming in the chat right now. I'd like to see the obsession 
identified in the tally screen. Yeah, but other than that, I think that the obsession system is so cool. Because even if you start a game and you are named the obsession, you don't know if it's good or bad, really. Mm -hmm. And it makes it very exciting. So another uh, modification that's coming based on the obsession is um, one of Laurie's perk, which uh, is only working if you're the obsession. But if there's a two person playing it, you kind of waste the perk. So that's a modification that's coming in the next hotfix. So you'll be able to use the perk even though you're not the obsession, but it's not going to be as good. There you go. Uh, are you ever going to implement blood point generation and kill your friends, even half? The whole idea is that it's just asking for grinds. Technically, it could mean that our bots would just play kill your friends and stop bothering the general population, but I don't know. What, what do you think? Well, with the, the changes to competition mode, which is basically going to replace kill your friends, um, we will have access to pretty much everything in the... Yeah, but you still won't be able to get points. No, you won't be able to get points or progress in your ranked character, but you'll be able to play with your friends with anything. I don't know why people keep asking about uh, Claudette spilling orange juice over her smock. Oh, I get it now. I get it. I know what you're doing. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've got something here. That's up my sleeve, if you uh, catch my drift. Uh, all right, when is the crawler killer coming? Not gonna happen. There's no such thing as the crawler. Don't know what that is. It's not a thing. It's like that, uh, it's that uh, apple thing or whatever. I don't know. The fruit? Yeah, but it's, it is a fruit. The apple is a fruit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So stop saying that, the Ludovan. I noticed you. Okay. Uh, what else? Trapper trapping with traps. Yeah, what about it? Well, the thing is, the trapper's traps have been fixed because they weren't working properly, especially yeah. close to the hook. Yeah. yeah. Which has caused a lot of peeper. Uh, a lot peeper. of peeper. <laughs> a lot of peeper. A lot, it caused a lot of peepers. I will stop. It, now. it caused a lot of pain for some peeper. Um, so we've actually tested this thing, and uh, it, it's. Of course, it's going to be more difficult to save a friend that's on the hook with a trap or two traps under uh, the person. If you want to achieve this properly, be careful because you have to approach the trap slowly and wait a little bit to be able to disarm it. It's actually very easy to disarm the trap if you're looking at it and you stop walking for a minute. So there's different mechanic around the trap so that anywhere else on the level you can just you know tap. Uh, the, the mouse button to be able to sabotage a trap or to disarm it. Uh, so we have a little delay that you have to stop in front of the, the trap to be able to disarm it. So just be careful and you'll be able to do it. Can we get a Paul survivor for Christmas? I don't want to get killed. <laughs> no, as merch? A plushie maybe? Maybe. Plushie Paul? Just a, a, a body Paul. pillow? Mm, body pillow Paul? Yeah, okay. That could be. <laughs> uh, you're in charge of merch. You can make it happen. Yes. It's right. Coming, it's coming. All right. Uh, you're just rewarding and promoting camping by trappers. Wait, what? Huh? huh? Are you just promoting and rewarding camping with the trapper changes? No. Dave. No. Dave. So, like I said last week, uh, I don't want to modify cool and fun mechanics that we have in the game just because they can be used for camping. Because a lot of them can be used for camping. Now. We want to fix the camping another way, like I explained before. Before was that way, apparently. Um, also, the report function, you'll be able to report uh, you know, people that are not playing properly, like doing camping. Um, so I hope these things will change behavior. Because seriously, killers, you don't have to kill someone. The game is super fun if you just leave them and they escape and they have fun and you mm -hmm. have fun. Um, so there. There's a lot of also what happens if the obsession disconnects. Right now, there's just no more obsessions in the match. Yeah, we'll true. We assign it to someone. The thing is, is for the purpose of the game balancing, for the most part, disconnects are equivalent to a, a really quick kill, let's say. 
for most yeah, purposes. For the, for the okay. No, but for, even for the other survivors. Yeah, for the survivors like if, well. if your friend just died, you're like, ah, shit, there's only three of us yeah. now. Whether he was the obsession or not. For, for the game itself, it doesn't really change that much, uh, the game mechanics. Well, I mean, it, it's frustrating. It can, especially if there's a group that disconnects and then you're, you're all alone in your map. Yeah, that's you'll for sure. You'll probably lose and lose these precious pips. Uh, that, that said, again, with the reporting tool, any people that disconnects and do it um, like by their choice and you report them and they get reported a lot, they're eventually going to get banned. The one thing I wanted to add is uh, some people see survivors pop into a lobby, whether as a survivor or as a killer, and then you're like, oh, that's a, so much of a widespread of ranks and levels. Yeah. And you're like, Th this is bad matchmaking. But very often those cases, and we need to identify them better, probably by, by highlighting people that are in a survive with friends group mm -hmm. in the tally screen, so you'll be able to spot that. But sometimes you'll see a, a rank one and a rank 12 and a rank 19 pop into your lobby and you're like, this is garbage matchmaking. But these three are part of a survive with mm -hmm. friends group and yeah. therefore they had to come in together mm -hmm. and that we're not going to break the group for that. So it means no. that the, you get sometimes widespread. It's not always the case, but uh, but it does happen quite a lot because people play with friends mm -hmm. quite a lot. So uh, keep that in mind next time when you're angry at us for reasons. It might not be true. Uh, yeah. Okay, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. I enjoy it really much. Thank great. you, Laverne. That's very nice. Uh, Matt, do you want to add different game modes other than the obsession? Well, so I wouldn't say the obsession is a different game mode. It's not a mode. It, it's a different game mechanic. It's a new thing that we've put into the game. And as this sort of thing goes, yes, I do very much want to add more. And we will. Yeah, when we add a mechanic of this sort, we think uh, of uh, the future and, you know, we might, uh, we most probably will add uh, other perks, add-ons, items uh, and whatnot that use the obsession mechanic uh, and we'll most probably have other mechanics of the sort. You have a wonderful beard. I believe that's, uh, that's probably talking to you. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Mm, I don't know. I, mm, I'm, I like your beard. <laughs> uh, Okay, can we please have controller sensitivity back? It's not fair, turning left, right. Yeah, it's in the list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go to uh, part four from the web, which means That's that I'm fine. supposed to give uh, Patricia a heads up to come see us because we have something to show. Come on down. Uh, all right, now let's start. The first thing we have. Okay, Paul, you put that in the folder. Do you know who that's from? Did you make no, a note of it? I do not. To give props to I, people. I, but it is a cool yeah. art. One yeah. art, please. I like it. Okay, uh, this, let me get my folder because I actually made a note of this. Matt is organized. Yeah. So, this is from a oh a Chinese user whose name I cannot pronounce. I am so sorry, but it is very cool nonetheless. Uh, this was done by Franz. It's a cool icon for a perk. I'm not sure which. Do you know, Dave? I don't know what the name of the perk is. But what does it do? It breaks the hook. Okay, cool. Permanently. Uh, all right. Okay, this is a picture from uh, Spencer Johnston, uh, who I met at TwitchCon, very nice fellow with a lovely wife, and they were saying they were excited and getting ready for uh, the coming of the shape. So, thank you. Uh, this here is from Halloween Terror, a user who is creating a creepy as hell version of the Trapper's Mask. Very well done. Hopefully we can see uh, the final costume and your final form, essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a beautiful rendition of the uh, balance. Balance landing. From Indigo Blaze. Thank you, Indigo Blaze. Kromheim is at it again. Oh, with, we have a visitor. Uh, we have a visitor. Is someone hiding? No, okay, we'll come back to that. 
So this is a Kramhein creation, the evil Witten brand of beverage, which is delightful. So you can bring it back to us. Hey, Dave changed into Patricia. Hi. Hello. So the reason we have Patricia here with us today is to show off her cool arm tattoo. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come closer. Dave, help, please. Just I can't wrangle her the in front works, of the yeah. thing. You don't know how the camera works? No. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Ooh. There that go. is uh, yeah. that is commitment right there. So hopefully you stay on the team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have some news. Yeah, so uh, thank you very much. Bye. Patricia Bye. is one of the top survivors on the team. She's part of the QA. Mm -hmm. Mad props to her for spotting some bugs. There you go. So that was Patricia. She has a tattoo. We like that. All right, Kramheim, super cool beverage, the evil Witten. Next one is from Kung Fu Panda, who did quite a lot of really cool Inktober stuff. Uh, but this one was my favorite. It's uh, Meg dressing up as the rape for Halloween, which every I thought was kind of... Every day, every day she had something. It was really, really nice. Awesome. Uh, Mr. Riddick Cat. Uh, showed us what is the absolute best place to hide better than the closets <laughs> so <laughs> dwight found the best uh, place to hide that mustache man it's good it's yeah awesome. it's good uh so there now we have here from naira fairfield not your first submission something tells me that uh, you're inspired that's good uh it's a cool drawing i really like the uh the dwight shirt by the way i mm -hmm. think it's a good choice uh, this is from Sebas the Trapper. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's probably a Quebecois with a no, name like Sebas. Absolutely not. No? no. Hey. <laughs> I would have thought it would be good. Anyway, posted this and uh, yeah, so we, we just saw this. Not the final form again, but really cool inspiration. I hope there's going to be a bunch of trappers out there on Halloween. It's going to be creepy. Uh, then we have Smooth Madness. Uh, again, not her first rodeo, but this is a really, really cool take on uh, the hillbilly. Uh, I think she called it her rehearsal makeup for Halloween. Uh, it's gonna it's freak nice. people out. Yeah. It's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. yeah. Well done. Uh, the last one was from uh, Solo Ister, uh and that was a really, really cool magazine cover. Uh, yeah. So really, yeah. what else can we say? Uh, yeah, nothing. Streams over. Let's just look at this. Yeah. Mic drop. Actually, this is a very expensive piece of machinery. I don't think they'd look uh, <laughs> good. Uh, they'd look at me with smiles if I was to drop that mic. So thank you. That was an amazing uh, week of around the web offering. Uh, yeah. Will it be possible to get the Uber Prestige after the patch? Nope. No. That's kind of the point. So uh, you should, uh, if that's the kind of thing that that uh, that motivates you, if that's the kind of thing that you uh, you can you can get behind, you should uh, you should start pedaling now because uh, that Uber Prestige is going to be awarded one time and then never again. What are your plans for the survivor population is very low compared to killers? So, first of all, it is not. It is lower than it usually is. It was, at least yesterday when we released Michael Myers, for very obvious reasons. Everybody, well, many buddy wanted to play uh, Michael Myers. Uh, it's It's pretty much stabilized now and anyway it meant that yes there was a little more waiting time for killers but it was pretty uh, yeah. pretty reasonable the population of killer and survivor has been um, stable since release actually uh, even yeah. even though there's a lot of comments of uh, people that are sure that there's no killer there's no survivor and that's because some lobby are long to fill but it could be depending on your region or at that specific moment there's there's nobody close or I mean, I mean so many things that can happen um, but usually it's not ideal right now we could use more survivors um, in most of the regions but it's it's a pretty decent balance at the moment yeah 
how do you get Uber Prestige? By prestiging now before we change the progression drastically. And it's uh, for P1, P2, and P3, and it's different for each one and per character. Yeah. So there. Uh, yeah. Have you thought about tweaking the terror radius of the other killers? Well, yeah, I mean, not right now. Not because we changed uh, Myers. I mean, it would be tempting because uh, we know how uh, it makes for a dramatic effect with Myers. He is quite scary in his first tier uh, when you don't know he's coming. Uh, but no, we don't, want, we don't want to do this for all of the killers. Uh, like, the raid doesn't have a terror radius when he's uh, cloaked, and that's why we make it, made him that way, is because it's freaky. Uh, but the others should stay into that uh, normal range. Um, speaking of the raid, did we get a chance to talk about the raid buffs? Yes. Yeah, we didn't. It wasn't. It wasn't the list, right? It wasn't the list, and we didn't talk about it. No. I got excited about the Ooh, web stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that that's something you might have noticed or not. It's part of the the latest patch. Uh, the raid has uh, seen some buff, as in when it's cloaked, uh, the crows won't fly off. When you're cloaked, you're actually more invisible than you were, and you don't make as much of a growling noise as you would normally. So you're even stealthier. Which is good. Yeah, that is good. So uh, will people stop uh, saying, please buff the rate? Probably not. Okay, <laughs> I was just wondering. Uh, can you make the rate start cloaked? See? What I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Immediate. Uh, yeah. Estimated time we have to get Uber Prestige. Uh, well, if you don't if you don't have them all now, you probably won't have them all. Like it's just, just way too much time. I mean, there's there's probably not enough time. Um, yeah. If you play twenty four hours a day to that path, I I don't know. Maybe. Mm. Uh, You're eating sort of something. oatmeal bars with uh, some sort of an apple butter in there. Mm. Delicious. Uh, so everybody's talking about the Uber Prestige now. Yeah, it's a, it's a costume to reward our diehard fan that did the grind before it became easy, basically. I prestige before it was cool. That's a t-shirt. That's it. It is not a t-shirt. That, that's not the... Yeah. Are you considering adding animals? You talked about adding animals. Why aren't there more animals? Yeah, maybe when, uh, when we get the chance to put more animals. Animals are, are complicated to integrate. Birds are a pretty core to our game and we wanted to do that animal but every time we add a uh, living thing that needs to be animated it, it's quite it can be quite the end ever um, so we need to be careful about that you know? uh, how does the shrine of secret work with prestige do you still lose the perk wait what what does that mean the prestige yeah prestige in the shrine there, there's no link no I don't I don't I'm just understand. reading the question. Okay. I just work here. Can you add traditional Chinese? We actually talked about that this week. Uh, adding more languages, whether it's traditional Chinese or Portuguese or a few other languages. Other, there are other languages out there. Uh, uh, we, we talked about this. The, the, it, yeah, it's, we just added Thai and others will most likely come. It's a matter of making sure that we, uh, we target the, the the regions that have enough players that it's worth because it's still uh, very much of an investment and it means that every time we come up with a new patch, every time we put in a new word in the game, we have to get it translated in more languages. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, we want to make sure to balance the, the, the cost with that. But yeah, it might very well happen. Uh, I heard there are many people out there who speak traditional Chinese. I'm not a, an expert. Mm. Uh, are you hiring? Yes, actually, we always are, pretty much. So the company as a whole, a uh, quick uh, history lesson here in behavior. Uh, there's about 350 people working here in Montreal, uh, about 50 working in Santiago, Chile. Uh, Chile. 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 And uh, that, uh, just channeling uh, Sebastian Varas when I said that. Uh, and so... Out of these, there's about 40-some people working on Dead by Daylight, but it still means that the company is about 500, uh, 400 people. And we are constantly hiring uh, talented and enthusiastic individuals. So feel free to check the website, Behavior uh, Hiring, 
you can click links and yes we hire people from outside of the country also if they are particularly good and and seem like they are worth uh, the extra effort so yes and it is a great place to work yes it is agreed. you're happy here yeah, agreed yes we are contractually obligated to say that we are happy here I'm actually chained to this desk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we finish the stream, they just turn off the light and leave, and then we wait. Uh, yeah. Does Meg have a boyfriend? Who knows? I don't know. I think they broke up. Was it a girlfriend? I don't know. Who knows? So much is left unsaid. Uh, yeah, are you looking into the basement drop mechanics to infinitely down survivors from the stair drop? That is a very annoying little bit. Uh, I mean, we're looking into ways to to, to fix that, but uh, the thing at the bottom of this issue is that griefers are very inventive. Yeah. They find ways to use the game in ways to screw people's enjoyment of it. And well, we watch it and we see, and it's very difficult to ban people for using the game. It's, it's very hard. Like if you're not actually cheating from outside, if you're just being a, a dick, it's the same way. Like in normal life, you walk down the street and you cannot arrest someone for being a dick most of no. the time. It might be satisfying, so that's why we are working towards having this report tool so that, mm -hmm. you know, with it is going to come all sorts of tools for us to be able to ban people other than permanently forever, like what we have right now. Um, because, I mean, being a dick uh, once in a while, and we don't, we don't want that, but, uh, you know, it's a bannable thing, but not forever. So there. Uh, someone says 72 hours is Meg's boyfriend. Oh. That's a big claim. I don't know. I don't know. He, I met him, and he is charming. I will give you that. Uh, so it's possible. I don't know. Uh, are you going to add another exit to the dungeon? No. 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 Never. That's not true. Never is a big word. But uh, no, the, the, the whole thing with the basement is that it is so dangerous and scary. If there were more exits, it wouldn't be as scary. Uh, I think. Will you be able to buy shards with real money? No. Nope. No. That's the whole idea of the shards. So the idea of the shards actually came from us having a discussion about how do we make sure that in the end, anybody who has the game can enjoy all the content at some point in some form, mm -hmm. even the paying content. Uh, the, the things that have an impact on gameplay. So, like, for instance, 80 suitcase, we weren't too worried about that. We're like, you know what, it, it, those are cosmetic things. It's okay if not everybody can have it. But something like Michael Myers or Lori, we wanted to make sure that these perks, these abilities, would be possible to be played by anybody. We're not saying it's easy. We're not saying it's going to happen all the time. Obviously, it would make absolutely no sense to buy the DLC if you can just get those... Uh, the, the, get to play Michael every other game. The easiest way to play what you want is always going to be with buying the DLC and playing the character. That is for sure. But at least we want to reward players that are, that are dedicated to the game and play religiously uh, with the ability to get these things. There you go. Uh, uh, are shards reset each week, or can we save them up? No, you can save them up, up to a thousand. There you go. Uh, is Ash being held hostage? No. He's not. Uh, oh, are you going to remake Whispers uh, perk not triggered on hooked or dead uh, or carried survivors? Yes, it should be. Uh, 500 shards for a teachable? Well, I don't care about that. No, I mean, I care, but we answered that earlier. Yeah. Can we have a double weekend, uh, a double point weekend? Yeah, we'd, we'd love to do that. Never heard of this one. Never heard of this one. No, but I, I'd like time. to do that. Yeah. 
What? Yeah, I'd like to do that. Uh, will the game ever come to console? Uh, it's very, very likely. It's very likely. I think that's uh, the extent of what I can say about this this year. Uh, very likely. Could you move this barrel somewhere else? The hook is completely unusable for a killer. Done. There's a hook with a barrel, right? Oh, wait, it has yeah. been fixed? Yeah, yeah it's, oh, in the, it's in the patch notes that I was looking at earlier. Perfect. Uh, yeah. What else? Uh, trading or crafting system in this patch? I was hoping for a crafting or trading system in this patch. No, not uh, yet. No. But, but also, to be fair, this would be a rather significant system to oh, put yeah. in. It's, it's not a, a simple thing, and it wouldn't be just a, a small little patch on a Thursday afternoon like no. this. It would be a major change. Uh, I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but uh, I'm <coughs> saying this would not be as casually put in as that. Uh, yeah. How are your guys' day so far? How's your day so far, Paul? It's been long. Really long. It's almost 3 p.m. Did long. you wake up at like 4 a.m.? Did you go work out or something? I did yesterday. Oh, yeah, but not today. Hurt. No. Today I, you I'm just still hurt. feeling it. I'm hurting all over. See, that's my secret. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You do. Yeah. You wake up <laughs> so way too early. You wake up when most people go to bed, really. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Yeah. That's why you're so pumped. And tired. Yeah. It's true, but you're you're full of energy, of pep. You've got pizzazz, mm -hmm. I think. Tea juice. Tea juice. Tea ah, juice. that's the secret. It, we really need a sponsor. Yeah. Seriously, right. we keep doing that and yeah. and making their name well, famous. Mm -hmm. We made their name a household name. Mm. Yeah. We have got what to prove. Tea juice killer. We could do that. Cross promotion. Yeah, like he's super fast for like a minute. And then he's got to get some more G-juice. He goes, go back in the basement. He's got a big jar of juice there. And just, yeah, uh. back out. <laughs> All right. Uh, what motivates you guys to improve Dead by Daylight? Oh. Huh. What now? What motivates you to improve Dead by Daylight? Oh, well, we, we love the game. Yeah. It's, it's our little baby. Yeah. We do play it. And, and we love watching people play it. Yeah. So, of course, we want to make it better. Yeah. That's super motivating. We also want to be loved. <laughs> uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, is Blue Shirt a cross-dresser by any chance? Is Blue Shirt... I think they mean you. Yeah. No. <laughs> Would you like me to be? Hey, it's <laughs> Halloween. Hey, there's, uh, we were talking about a Supergirl outfit. Earlier? Yeah. Yeah. Not we could me, try. I see you more as a Wonder Woman, personally, but, <laughs> you know. Uh, now I've got this image in my head. Mm. I hope uh, tomorrow night we have a, a party for the behavior employees yeah. like next door. Yeah. Costume party. There might be some dancing. There I'll be some. dancing like this. You will? Okay. That's what I do. I've got this move. I've got another move, but I'm keeping it for later. Uh, but there's going to be costumes, and we will show pictures, and it'll be amazing. Uh, yeah. Will there be audio or visual notifications for the Noed? If what? I no was ed. reading something. Noed. What about Noed? Should there be a visual or audio cue to the survivors to tell yes. you that he has? Yes. That's something that we uh, are actually Oh, yeah. The thing we talked about. That thing. Yeah, it's going to be Phil. fun. When is that coming? Uh, it's not exactly that one. Okay. But it's something is Because that one yes. would have been cool. Just like we did for Myers Tier 3, the visual feedback of him and the, the, the music and everything that you know and you have to be careful and then when it goes away. So we want to create the same kind of thing for uh, No One Escape Death's Death. Yeah, so that's the thing. That's what happens is we create something like this and then for Michael we had to find ways to make sure that people knew and inform and then we s did some things and we're like oh this is so cool we need to broaden it and those are systems that we can now use somewhere else so that's that's really cool uh yeah oh who, who played michael myers at twitchcon nobody it was him it was a it was a comic-con yeah, comic first of all no, that was right. a trick question <laughs> so yeah um 
So yeah, we'll, you were about to say something? Yeah, we will still be able to get the bloody costume once the new absolutely. progression. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, no one escapes that. Yeah. Uh, what else? Can you give more info on Ultra Prestige? I feel like we've talked about that yeah, half I mean, of the stream. You can watch the video afterwards if you want more info. Yeah, watch it on, on the slow motion to really let the information sink well, in. Ac actually, I might. Uh, I started doing posts on Reddit of uh, like uh, design posts. Uh, we do the same thing on Steam as well. Uh, so just choose the platform you want and uh, you can actually ask your question and I will receive them uh, and I can answer you. What if the G-Juice is orange and sort of spills on Claudette? Ah, <laughs> you got that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you release the Steam background image so we can use it as a desktop wallpaper? I love that picture. Uh, oh, the stream background, not the Steam background. That stream background. Isn't that already yeah, everywhere? it's everywhere. Go check on the official website. There's a media kit that you can get there. The, yeah. I think it's yeah, called it's a press kit. Yeah, it's full of images it. and videos and information yeah. about stuff. Uh, but mostly images that you will find and be happy with, I believe. Uh, yeah. Since the new update, I get disconnected while loading screen to start Michael Myers. Uh, is sorry, it a common sorry, bug the, or just the, me? This is a bug. We, I, I can't answer it. So it could be common. The best thing you could do is to go on one of the uh, community platform and ask if anybody else has the same problem. And uh, I mean, we'll we'll get to it eventually. How many more killers are you going, guys? Looking at adding to the game. Twelve. Let's not say numbers. I would say. Whatever the game needs. More killers. Yeah, whatever the game needs. It will keep shoving them in. There you go. Uh, what else we got? Oh, that was the Q&A section. Well, I mean, there's, there's we're, seven we're minutes left. We're just taking questions at that point. Why, why do you don't have the same time as I do? Oh, really? Are you in a different time zone? What gives us the most time? Uh, I have more time. Okay, let's, so use, let's use your time. Um, can, you, can you have a notification when the game is ready f when you're out tabbing? So, uh, yeah, Super low priority. These, yeah, these kind of things are going to be like... Would you rather that or maybe we fix some bugs with the game with yeah, someone crashing when they're trying to load? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I appreciate the comment. I understand that uh, it's not perfect all the time depending on how you use the game but uh, we can't uh, do them all uh, can you show us what's behind the green screen no there is absolutely nothing it's yeah. it's a void yeah. it's literally yeah. if you look at it it sucks yeah. at your eyes uh, but we have to go through it to get back to our desks yeah. so it's very unset uh, unsetting upsetting uh, can you make the cloaked rate vault quickly please See what I told you about uh, buffing the rate again? I like Paul. He seems like a nice guy. Sometimes. Have you ever thought of adding mechanics of the game to make it more difficult for the suivants to hide in the place of hiding, like, for example, to sit on the sol and not just accroupir? Merci, gang. Fait une belle job. We so the question was about uh, better hiding for the survivor or new mechanics for the survivor. Like uh, crawling hide, like, uh, or crawling. go prone. Yeah, or uh, you know, hiding in other spaces than the closet and things like that. Uh, we did talk um, on the design side for map implementation. We did talk about uh, new ways for the survivor to interact with the world and for the killer as well. I think it's something that uh, we we all want. Um, going prone as a new ability, though, uh, probably not. Not at the moment, anyway. Yeah. There you go. All right. Uh, <coughs> new maps in the pipe. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes, new maps. And we will release them at some point. So, uh, who played Michael Myers at Comic Con? Uh, Another one. Okay, what are your plans for survivor point generation compared to killer survivors don't get enough points? Oh, that's a great question. So, you have good questions this week. Yeah. Chat, I'm proud of you. Uh, so we actually, uh, I actually had a discussion with uh, Stefan, uh, our game designer, this morning, and uh, he had some great ideas on how to fix that. Uh, one of them we talked about it earlier uh, when the killer disconnect, but we also want to add more um, uh, things, reward more things that happen in the game, such as 
uh, staying stealth or unseen by the killer when he's nearby and, and things like that. So we're looking into uh, identifying these events properly so that they can't be abused and uh, being able to award more points for staying, staying in the map and playing stealthily. When is Meg or Claudette getting long hair? Oh, that's a great question. Long hair is the bane of of video games. I think as a whole, it's it's the, those are they're so ridiculously expensive to do in terms of performance, but also just in terms of of what is needed behind that to make them look even half decent. Oh, Polly. It's the polygon, it's the animation that goes behind it. It's all the edge cases where the physics get involved. And like I, just because I like naming other games, but uh, Tomb Raider, the last one, mm -hmm. they had the ponytail. It's not even like flowing hair, it's one ponytail. Yeah. And there was like you have an option in the game to like disable ponytail because it's so demanding. They had a team working on that ponytail. So all that to say, probably not going to happen soon. No. Uh, is that a shot? No. You said okay. not soon. Okay. Uh, any buffs coming soon? To the rate? <laughs> <laughs> Voice actors? Uh, yes. Yeah, we the, someone keeps uh, asking yeah. this question. Like, wants to talk to one of the voice actor would be would be cool. Know that our voice actors are employees. They do other things on on uh, either different projects or on our project. Um, so yeah, that's it. We could have someone that did it. Yeah. Uh, will the entity ever take the form of a killer? Who knows? That's uh, an interesting idea. We we uh, we've talked about it a little bit the entity is is it's not that simple if it was just i can't say that i can't say that uh, uh can the killers already set so we don't know who the killer is huh I don't know what that means. Another but we question. did change the hooks. That's something that changed also in yeah. the patch that people have noticed. Absolutely. So now the hooks are linked to the maps and not the killers. It was in part done because we wanted to make sure you didn't... It, we, we stretched it as long as possible before you were sure which killer was in the map with you. Uh, by adding Michael Myers, we thought it was important because you, you've you noticed, probably, you have to play very differently against that killer uh, as opposed to the other ones. So not knowing who you're facing was really important. And so we changed that. I think it's a good change, personally. Yeah. Uh, when is the game released on console? That's not information that we are sharing right now, if at any time. I am not confirming or denying all of that. I love your game. Great. That's not a question. That's fine. Comments, suggestions, and amusing anecdotes are also welcome. Uh, how come part of Haddonfield's hooks are from the farm? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Never saw that. But uh, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, are you happy with the DLC sales? Yes. We take more. Buy, buy two if yeah. you want. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Give one to your, your mom. Mm-hmm. She doesn't play, but it doesn't matter. She can appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, any new killers coming? Yes, many. Uh, can you get vaulting back? To what it was? Um, no. No. No, no, and not now. Uh, no. Can you, instead, four perks, make it five perks to use? No. The game is four perks. That's Do it. with four. It's enough. Mm -hmm. It's way too much already. We'll do no perks. That's what we'll do. <laughs> we'll take That'll away That'll teach perks. you. Uh, okay, so I think we're, we need to wrap up right yeah. now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's We matter. get to repeat news and announcements. So, news and announcements. Hellos. No, I always repeat that. I shouldn't. Onslaught came by. Hi, Onslaught. I saw you in there uh, passing by. Thanks. That was very nice. A lot of people yeah. ate a lot of chocolate and were very happy about it. Yeah. So uh, well done. Enjoy sharing the codes and things with people. Uh, 
Fan Choice Award on the Canadian video game. So yeah, uh, check the link afterwards or just Google it. It's yeah. not that hard. Uh, find the Canadian Video Game Awards. We've uh, been nominated for four things, I believe. Best yeah. PC game, Game of the Year, Best uh, yeah, Original best Soundtrack, and, and Best, best new, new Character. Yeah. The yeah. New Character. Uh, for the trapper. So if we win one, should we do a uh, we'll customization do a thing? thing? Ooh. Maybe. Huh? That would be nice. Yeah, maybe. If we win, we'll mm. do a thing. We'll I'm not going to commit to more than that, but there will be a we'll thing. Uh, then we have the Halloween DLC. Yeah, that's news. Yeah, so it, it's out if you don't uh, have it. If you it, don't know, yeah. we Go just came it. out with a new DLC for Halloween. And it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a new map, a new killer, and a new survivor. Uh, and then treats for free. So can you put the image up again? Just to show people what they're getting for free. Uh, because we love them. All of them. So you're going to get some glowy eyes for those three delightful people. And they're really fun in the lobby. You can just activate or deactivate them. And it's just like a light switch. It's super fun. I like doing that. Eyes on, eyes off. Try it. Uh, try it as soon as we patch the game, which... Uh, did I get uh, text? Uh, on va patcher après le Twitch, c'est validé. So I have confirmation right now. Yeah. As soon as we go back to our desks, you're getting those eyes as when you get the, the update. And all the fixes. Yeah, all the fixes that we talked about today. So uh, they're all going to be part of that. And then you get many new things. And you enjoy playing the game for more hours. Uh, oh yeah, that's another comment I want to make. People who have a thousand hours or like 500 and more hours of game time and then give a negative review. I really don't get that. Like, did you enjoy it enough? Like, did you suffer in pain and misery for 500 hours? Well, maybe. Well, yeah, maybe. But then, I mean... You had to enjoy the pain or else... Yeah, you it doesn't that. cost a lot to enjoy all this pain. But anyway, okay. I, I just, I don't get it. Uh, so I just thought I'd say that. <laughs> uh, other news? No announcements? No. Words of wisdom. Okay, the words of wisdom today are a, uh, uh, a, a very inspired character that actually is, uh, I named my cat after him, mm. uh, from uh, Federal Bureau of Investigation Special Agent Dale Cooper, who said, uh, every day, once a day, give yourself a present. Don't plan it. Don't wait for it, just let it happen. It could be a new shirt at the man store, a cat nap in your office chair, or two cups of good hot black coffee. So that. Uh, I think this is very good uh, advice. Thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to follow. So you know when we go back online, live. Yeah, so on, on Twitter, Facebook, uh, MySpace. Uh, well, Twitch, obviously. Twitch. Yeah. Uh, Steam. That's it. That's it, really. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, goodbye.